They were the best of the Afghan military. Trained and funded by the British, the Triples, as they were known, worked alongside UK forces right until the Afghan government fell. They were the last standing, even helping with the evacuation of Kabul. They were uniquely trusted in a way the Afghan National Army wasn't. We would eat, sleep, drink with them. There was a unique bond. They put their lives on the line for us. And so, when the triples applied to the Afghan relocation and assistance policy, Arab, there were no shortage of former and serving British military personnel happy to vouch for them. I gave them details about the guy I served with in Afghanistan, but never got a response from either the MOD or Arab. I know of a number of other people who served alongside the triples and never received any contact. We've been told by multiple sources, all serving or former military, that the same thing happened to them. They gave a reference to someone applying for the Arab scheme, were never contacted by the Ministry of Defence, and then found out the person they were supporting had been rejected. And it all comes just a few days after the Armed Forces Minister spoke in the House of Commons, also in response to a Newsnight story, and said this. It's also uh, impossible, I think, to uh, verify the service of those who didn't serve directly alongside the British Armed Forces and where there is somebody within the British system that can vouch for the closeness of that service. It makes me so angry, particularly to hear the Minister say that it's hard to verify these people when they've clearly made no attempt to verify them, not even reaching out to their own people. And it's not just the issue of identifying individuals that has been causing controversy. There's also a row about who the triples really worked for. On Monday, the minister said this. CF333 and ATF444, known as the triples, were Afghan-led task forces set up to counter drug trafficking and organised crime and reported into the Afghan Interior Ministry. They are therefore a component of the Afghan National Security Forces and are not automatically in scope for relocation under Arab. But that version of events has been questioned by many people. Conservative backbenchers, members of the opposition, even ministerial colleagues. And one man we spoke to who used to help pay the triples. The money would be apportioned and delivered in person by a British officer and then signed for by the Afghan personnel who would then take it away and we would keep the invoice which would then be sent back so that it was above board and the money was all accounted for. The monthly pay would be up to $1,000. We've been told it came directly from London and that there will be records. It would be fairly easily derived information to the effect that the money changed hands and the audit for the money exists somewhere. If they needed to find out, they could find out. In a statement, the Ministry of Defence said that each Arab application is assessed individually and in accordance with published policy. We do not automatically make a decision on eligibility based on a job role. <laughs> Campaigners have been fighting for the triples ever since the fall of Kabul. While their primary concern is for those left behind, it has taken a toll on them as well. We talk a lot about veterans and their mental health. To think that you've left these people behind, you hear what they're going through. They were looking after you on the ground, and you can't help them. Over the last few days, there does seem to be a change in the mood about the treatment of the triples. Whether that will result in action is a very different question. <laughs>